one can see your nipples. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews tonight at the St. John Ale House. We are at Hammond River Brewing's official launch party. Now, we've got the fourth and final beer. Uh, we didn't exactly have them in order, but we got the fourth and final beer, beer that they make that we're going to take a look at. This time we're going to take a look at Covered Bridge ESB, Extra Special Bitter. That certainly looks extra special. Nice and ruby red. Although it's hard to tell in these lights. <laughs> it almost looks like it's, it's like brown rather than ruby red, but I'm pretty sure if I put something up to it, that's not a good comparison. So, it's the color of an old covered bridge. Yeah, it's the color of an old covered bridge. That's actually not a good thing either because most of them are gray. It's the co color of a new covered bridge. New la da National Park. Mr. Fancy Bridge. Maybe, maybe not quite that either. Okay, so looking at that, it looks really nice. It had a nice creamy head on it when it was poured, but it's since gone away. Give us a sniff. Not much of an aroma. Not much of an aroma. It's like a heat of a pretty sweet coming off of that, but not much at all. I'm getting a little bread, kind of like a Brenton cracker. Mm. Yeah, it's that, that fruity Brenton cracker sweet coming right off the top. Right. Oh wow, that was fast. One keg down. All right. Victory! Down the hatch then. Down the hatch. It may not have much for smell, but it's got a nice taste, and it it's, it seems to be well, it's smooth like every other beer that they have. Yeah. Um, it's almost a tad watery thing. Hmm. Like it's got really nice uh, ESP flavors. It's got that that sweet kind of red apple kind of taste to it, um, and a little like hints of biscuit and brown sugar, uh, a light earthy to, to hop taste, and then it disappears. Yeah, it's really delicious, and then there's the thin body. Yeah. Well, that's it's almost like it doesn't have enough meat. It's not thick enough. Yeah, but. You know, compared to some other beers that I've had in the category, it really stands up quite well. No, in terms of like holding up to the British, especially the British ESBs, in terms of flavor, this knocks them out of the park. In terms of the body, it's, uh, it, yeah. It's, I don't know if I call that 40 IBUs, but 5.5% ABD, you can't tell. That's really, really deceptive. I'm trying to decide whether this would make me feel waterlogged after a while, but I'm not sure. I think it'd be okay. But it's definitely not a. It's definitely it's not, not a like true English. It's definitely not a true English session ale you could drink all day. No. Without getting waterlogged, though. Not quite like. Not like quite like that. It's almost to be created in the same vein of something like Old Speckled Hen or, or London Pride, but not quite that. Um, it is very nice. Uh, I gotta say that I do like it. <laughs> anyway. I think it is. But anyway. To finish up. This is really nice. Editing. Anyway, um, so it's really good. What do you think? Yeah, it's definitely as good as British. Well, I'll give it a three and a quarter. I like it almost as much as that that I that India Red Ale. The India Red Ale is great. Uh, this isn't coming quite that close, but it's still a thumbs up beer. 3.25 is fair. Okay. 3.25. Good enough. Okay. That means that all four beers that we've had from, uh, while well, I didn't exceed four, all four beers that we've had from these guys tonight have all been excellent. They've been three plus. Uh, great start. Uh, I look forward to seeing more, and I look, look forward to seeing the recipes improve a little bit. Yep. Oh, uh, this is a. Uh, this is a brewery I hope to see more of. And come on, guys, get some growlers going. Anyway, we'll talk to you. Talk to you folks later. Cheers. Cheers.